Hey, Dr. Carr Pierre, I wanted to show you how easy it is to grow food at home, and we're gonna do pea shoots. And pea shoots actually are a delicacy that I happen to love when, especially when I'm in San Francisco, I go to Chinatown and I always get pea sprouts. And I uh, grow these at home. I have a five pound bag, so I take this seriously. And this will grow pounds and pounds and pounds of, of fresh greens. Um, and then you need um, some, some soil, you don't necessarily need regular soil. You can use coconut core. Uh, I happen to use this seed starter. And you need a container. Uh, any container will do. I'm actually using an old Swiffer container that I, of course, washed uh, a lot because who knows what kind of chemicals are in, in that. And you need to soak um, these seeds overnight. So these have been soaked overnight. And I'm just going to, uh, these have been rinsed off. And of course the, the soil is, is moist. And basically what we're gonna do is just um, see if this will work. Okay, let me show you what I have here. Okay, so I put this in here and it looks like I guessed pretty good in terms of the amount and you just want to Put these in just like this. Actually, I could have put more in. You really can get a pretty dense amount in here, but this is where we're at. We'll just lightly press them in. And then next, we're going to put uh, some paper towels on top. Okay, so I have some paper towels. I'm gonna wet them here. and just put this on top just like this should fit pretty good Let's see here and why we're doing this is because we want it covered we want it moist and we're going to put this away for a couple days actually And I'm gonna put uh, one more on here and then uh, make some comments. Okay, so we're done. As you can see, it's been covered pretty good and just coincidentally was like almost the proper exact size. And that's basically day one. Now I soaked the seeds overnight. Oh, there are a few left in there, the peas. And um, essentially we're gonna put this away for a couple days and then we'll see the progress. Okay, day two, let's take a look. It's still moist and you can see that the roots are starting to grow and uh, we'll check back tomorrow. No need to water because it's uh, there's no drain in this particular uh, container and um, it's still quite moist. Okay, let's see how it's doing. And the reveal, okay, so it's starting to sprout up and uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to uh, leave it this weekend. Um, so I'm not going to be able to do a full grow. But uh, on Saturday night, since I'm leaving on Sunday, we'll be able to show you um, what you can do with, uh, with what has sprouted. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, here we are. So as you can see, it's growing quite a bit. And... You know, unfortunately, I have to leave in two days uh, for a sudden trip. Now, normally, I would let these things grow in the dark for another day, maybe more, to get as much height as possible. Um, as you can see, just if you're curious, because some people are wonder, you know, you can see how this is. Um, here, let me show you this way. If I take this, you can just sort of see how, um, you know, it's growing down into the soil. In fact, if I pulled that, the whole, the whole mat would come up. So normally I would wanna get a lot more height. This is not high at all. In fact, I'll put in a picture of, uh, of some pea shoots that I grew, uh, posted on my Instagram a while ago, just to show you that. But because I have to leave in two days, um, I'm gonna leave this out now to green. And hopefully, because I have to eat these tomorrow night, unfortunately, because uh, I leave the following day, uh, they'll green up and hopefully we'll get some leaves on here 
um, to make it more nutritious. Uh, so, so we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, this is just later in the day. Um, just to show you how quickly it actually greens. And hopefully, as I said, normally I would leave this for six, seven more days. Um, well, more like four to five days, but because I'm leaving on in two days, I'm gonna have to eat this tomorrow. But as you can see, it is growing pretty high, uh, but normally it grows actually way up here, believe it or not. Um, and uh, anyway, we'll see if we can get some more leaves tomorrow to make this more edible. Uh, so I'm gonna be eating this a lot, a lot sooner than normal because of a trip I have to take. Okay, so it looks great. And it's amazing that this is less than a week. Uh, this is 36 hours um, past the last video that I made, the last clip. And normally, Normally, I definitely would let this grow. It would grow much higher in the next two to four days. But I'm flying out today, so uh, I have to eat this. Heading to the airport shortly. So let's, uh, let's trim these with the clean scissors, and I'll show you what I got. Okay, we've cut it, and we have this beautiful amount. And look how beautiful that is. I mean, look how green that is. To me, in seven days, less than seven days, in fact, to have something like this that mm, tastes so good. Just wanted to show you um, how much, how many roots grow something like this. I mean, look at the math there. Incredible, just less than a week. Nature is incredible, miraculous. Just to add water, you cannot mess this up. So this definitely could be uh, eaten as a salad, but I'm going to uh, stir fry it. So I'll be right back. All right, we have some garlic here because, well, what's life without some garlic? There is no life without garlic. All right, and we're done. This is so incredibly good. And less than a week. I mean, there'd be much, much more if I had let this grow the way I should have. And anyone can do this. I mean, just add water. It's incredible what you can do uh, in a very, very small, it's a super small container with only a handful, literally just a handful of soaked peas that I, <coughs> that I used. And here we go. Mm. Incredibly delicious. You owe it to yourself to take some control over the food that